is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another 2-in-1 WWE Elite figure review on the brand new WWE Elite Legend Series 13 Target exclusive Cowboy Bob Orton and the Hurricane. Very excited for these. I, I picked these up on our toy hunt yesterday. If you guys missed that, definitely go check it out. And go check your local targets, man. These are Target exclusive. You can't grab them anywhere else unless you pay aftermarket prices on eBay and stuff. So you definitely want to go to your local Target. If you don't have one near you, man, I, I apologize. But these are hitting right now. They're hitting everywhere. If my Target gets them, man, they're, they're pretty much everywhere, I'd say. So you have Legend Series 13. You got the Ultimate Edition Kane all hitting retail. So definitely go check that out. But today, man, we are getting into it. Very excited for these. As soon as they showed these off, I was ready to have them. I'm excited for the for the freaking boxing gloves we got for Bob Orton and the Hurricane is another addition to our Hurricane collections growing out. And it's so cool now to see a wrestler that I grew up watching is now in the Legend series. Kind of makes me sick. But anyways, guys, you guys can see Cowboy Bob Orton Hurricane over here looking pretty good. You guys know the Legend style packaging. You get the images on the side there. On the back, you get a little bio read. If you'd like to read them, you can pause them now. Rest of the figures in the wave, we're still hunting down Triple H and Jake the Snake. Roberts. Got images of the guys on the side right there, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging for Hurricane and Bob Orton. Really excited for these. We got double jointed arms with them finally in our Legends collection, man, so this should be epic sauce. Let's go ahead and crack these guys out of the packaging and find out what they're all about. So here's Hurricane and Bob Orton out of their packaging. I'm loving these a lot, man. The addition of the double jointed arms across the board from not only the main elite line, which we've seen over this, you know, this past little bit of 2021 into 2022, and just seeing that just put, fully put across the main elite line into other exclusive lines is just insane. I love it. It really adds to the quality of, the, of these figures. I feel like uh, Mattel's figures continue to get better in the hand, and I like these already a lot before we even dive into the details. I'm just, I'm a, a, completely in awe, honestly, of both of them and all their details. We're going to get into all those things, man, but of course, we're going to take a look at Bob Orton's accessories and Bob Orton, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at the Hurricane and the Hurricane's accessories. So for Bob Orton's accessories, man, starting out first, we do have his hat accessory, and Bob Orton comes with a lot of stuff here, man. I like this hat. I don't know if we've seen this before. I want to say we've seen this exact hat before. Again, I can't remember exactly, but you do get the really nice details on the brown detail surrounding here in that like bronzish brown color. Good detail going on in there. It does fit the figure pretty solid. It doesn't go all the way on the head, I would say, but it does sit on there well. You know, I think it captures the look that you want to get. Uh, you know, it, again, it doesn't like necessarily like hug it, but it goes on there nice. Oh, I mean, that's really all you can ask for for a hat accessory. Outside of that, we also get his signature forearm shiver, forearm sleeve, forearm pad, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if there's a specific name for it, but it, it looks great, and it really goes on the figure nice. You just remove the hand and pop it on there. Really simple stuff. So, you you just remove the hand like so and then you just plop this on here get it into the you know you can rotate it to get it in the right spot that it's supposed to be in and then you will just simply reattach the hand there and boom and that is sick man like to give us that accessory and to be just innovative with your figures man that is what it's all about here and they did a great job designing this because it looks really good on the figure it goes on there well and if you got two of these you maybe take this and then get another pair and then you could put you know put them on a create a superstar or something and have two of them so then you know, it's kind of like gauntlets or something. So that's really cool there. We also have his boxing gloves. We saw this with the Roddy Piper and Mr. T two pack, you know, so he's got the boxing gloves in the black. You also have the wrist gauntlets here that are also part of the boxing gloves, I guess, you know, so you have that going for you. I don't know why the damn camera is wanting to do this, man. So you got your little wrist gauntlets with your boxing gloves. And then we have this beautiful cloth vest and it's almost like a pleather material. You have these like fringe stuff coming off the end here. Really dude, just, just quality freak stuff here. Now I know, now it makes sense why they were $21.99. When you get accessories like this and like the cape that Hurricane comes with and you get all these different things, I mean it's really, it's it's insanity honestly. Like this crazy accessories we're getting from Mattel. 2022 is off to a fantastic start and hopefully we, we'll continue to get more of these fantastic accessories but that wraps up Bob Orton's accessories. So start out with Bob Orton at the top of the head sculpt guys you guys will see here. I want to say this is the head sculpt we've seen for, for years now. Like I, I don't think they've changed it up, but it looks like him, you know, it's not like perfection or anything, but I think you get that likeness to Bob Orton. I don't hate the head sculpt, but I'm not overly critical of it, you know. I'm not like one that just cares so much deeply about it. I've seen it for so long that I'm kind of used to it by now that if they changed it up, I, I mean, I think they could give him maybe a little bit more weight in the face, maybe. I feel like overall, like maybe his formula could just use like a little bit of weight gain, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that, but uh, maybe one day we'll get a better head sculpt, but this is how we have. You got the curlyish hair going right there. Down 
down into the body, you do have like the Daniel Bryan style body. You do have like the Finn Balor Ultimate Edition arms, which are really nice. You get the forearm shiver. You get the blue trunks. Again, very, very plain Jane. You know, it's a flashback figure. They weren't over the top just yet with the gears. You got the black knee pads. We pretty much have this in basic form with the flashback Walmart exclusive, I think. But black knee pads, you do get the nice white and blue socks. I love the ace boots right there, which look clean with the black and white with the white laces. Not an overly detailed figure, but overall, it gets the job done. You know, it gets the job done. It really does look very nice. And I like it a lot. I, I think that it's it's a quality figure overall. Again, it feels fantastic in the hand. He's not on ball joints, but he he kind of feels like he is. You know what I'm saying? Like in the in the hand, he doesn't feel stiff at all. He can move around, and his arms feel really nice. So it's just a nice piece overall. I, I like it a lot. And I'm not typically one that's going to be over the moon about these flashback figures, but uh, this one gets the job done, and that's really all you can ask for with Bob Orton. So getting into the Hurricanes accessories, man. Starting out with the cape. This cape is just simply fantastic, man. And you have like, what is this even called? Is it, oh God, it's, I gotta look it up now. The cowl, isn't that what it's called? The cowl right here at the top of the cape. You see this like shiny material? That's how it looked in real life, man. You got the Hurricane logo, the green and the black. I love how he had, like they got the detail of the mask design on the back of the cape. That is just so perfect, man. Look at like the different details you get throughout. A hurricane logo on the back. I love the way the cape feels in hand. It's not too stretchy, but it's not stiff. It just looks incredible. You guys saw what it looked like on the figure but you know the the head sculpt is removable you know they make all the the head sculpts interchangeable so all you have to do is pop the head off slide the cape on or off and it's just a great accessory man this may be one of the best accessories they've made this year already in 2022 i mean this is a fantastic figure overall and uh this is a fantastic accessory dude this is just quite this is what you want out of accessories for our figures man it just drives me up the wall how good this is outside of that you just get fisted hands and you get mic holding hands out of the packaging but that cape right there is all we really needed. I, I think that is it. And then you got his, you got headless guy over here, Shane Helms. Now getting into Hurricane, this is the better figure in the set, in my opinion. It may be the best figure in the set. I'd like to rank the set if we could get Triple H and Jake the Snake in here for a review. But I like the head sculpt a lot. I want to say I don't have it right here in front of me. We will take a look at it in the comparison shot of the video. But I think this is the same head sculpt we saw way back in the day, right? So way back in the day, like 2010, maybe 11, we did have that basic Hurricane head sculpt, and I think this is the exact one, except it has true effects with the beard and stuff, but it's a nice head sculpt. It looks like the Hurricane. It looks like Shane Helm, so I really don't hate it. I like the long hair. I like the mask detail we got with the colors and the paint. I love the, uh, like the beard. Five o'clock shadow looks really detailed, so I don't have any issues with it. I really like this torso choice that we got going on. I think this is the same torso they used on his last figure, so you, you got it gets a little muddy. Like, it's focused, but the green and everything kind of gets a little muddy with the light reflection there, but the Hurricane logo is very clean. You get the nice, you know, diamond style pattern going on with the black and greens. Overall, really sweet, man. Again, double jointed arms with the double black sleeves. It's cool because I made a custom of this way back before we started the pick fit, and I remember, you know, using that one, and it's it's going to be cool to do the comparison shot with all these Hurricane figures we're getting, but you get the logo down the design. You get the logo design down the sides of the tights. You get the open black knee pads. This is really the only gripe I have about the figure, and that's these lower legs. I don't like how they give them the Johnny Gargano syndrome, where you have, like, the kick pad design on the lower leg like that. It just looks odd. It doesn't look accurate. It looks very, very weird to me. And I honestly don't know how you change or fix this at this juncture. Uh, you, you really don't have an opportunity to change this unless you switched out his lower legs with maybe X-Pac with the black and green or, or something like that. I don't know how you'd really, really change it up. It's not horrific, but it's definitely not my favorite. It just looks odd with the knee pads and that long spot right there and the difference in the depth and the kick pad. It just looks odd, man. Johnny Gargano syndrome, I, it needs to be killed off in 2022. But here we are. Uh, regardless of the fact, from top to bottom, it's a very, very nice figure. Overall, I just love the way it feels in hand, too. Like, it, he's got great articulation. He's not on ball joints, but he feels very solid in the hand. Tight waist, you know, pretty face. It's just a joke, but seriously, he's handsome, you know? For your figure comparisons, here's my custom Hurricane that I was talking about with that basic head sculpt. And you guys can see, I made this way back in the day, so you guys can kind of see the comparison there. The heights are pretty much virtually the same. We also have our Elite 75 Hurricane Chase over here. And then we have our Elite 75. Hurricane with the sting boots on there for a crazy fix up. And I also have a regular Hurricane, but it's mock. I'm going to open that one up very soon just to, you know, really throw the Hurricanes over the top. I'll have five different Hurricanes and, you know, plenty more to come. I love that we got this. I really want a Shane Helms with Cruiserweight Championship double jointed arms, nice head sculpt, but I think he's no longer in the company, so that sucks. I'm glad we got this out. Maybe he still has a license with them to be able to get figures, and hopefully we'll get, you know, a Shane Helms from the Cruiserweight division.
division without the hurricane gimmick but i'm very happy to add another hurricane beautiful figure beautiful character great guy overall really nice to have hurricane here but anyways i think that pretty much wraps up this two-in-one wwe elite series legend series i should say legend series 13 hurricane and bob orton target exclusive again but again man i'm really impressed with both they feel really good in the hand they pose around immaculately i can see a lot of people getting bob orton right here and for those that don't really collect the legends figures you know they want to turn him into a different guy i can see that happening across the board there's plenty of guys you can make out of him but i think i'm going to keep him as bob orton i think it's badass it's the best bob orton they've ever made this is borderline. I think this is the best Hurricane. I think it is better than the Elite 75. I, I will say I wish his formula was a bit different on the lower half, but overall, really sick, man. Really great stuff going on with the Hurricane. I love it. I love the head sculpt. I like the true effects. I like all the things we got going on with the Hurricane. I love the gear. The cape is sick as hell. Absolutely a just disgusting cape. Best thing I've seen in a minute, man. It is a great cape. It fits the figure well. It's not all flappy-dappy. It looks fantastic. It fits the body mold really well. It's just a, amazing. I love it. It's really, really good. Highly suggested. And I can't wait to get the rest of the set now. This has me very excited. I'm really excited for Triple H, but I think Jake the Snake is going to be really good. If this Bob Orton has anything to say about it, I think Jake the Snake will be another step up from his figures. I love the forearm shiver they gave him finally. And it's removable, which is really cool. Just a lot of really neat things they did with this wave and these figures, man. It's really nice to see the attention to detail with the Legend series. So really great stuff, man. Overall, props to Mattel on these. They feel fantastic. They look fantastic. <coughs> God, man. Heaven. But thank you guys for watching. I think they're great. Go get the Legend Series 13 Hurricane and Bob Orton. I would suggest both of these guys. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I'm going to get the hell out of here so I can go vomit. Don't cross the line like me when I just said that. You cross the line.